automation, process control, programming, and other skills are part of the Industry 4.0 initiatives that are transforming many industries. We want students to be capable and aware of some of these opportunities and be able to get some initial exposure. As the Control Education Committee Chair for the IEEE Control System Society, I'm very interested in some of the outreach opportunities that we have to go from university content to give content to those that are just beginning, maybe in high school or other types of schools. One of the things that we're working on is curating resources for students everywhere with online resources. But we also realize there's a very important element of reaching students with experiential learning or active learning exercises in the form of labs and where they can get their hands on something and be able to work with equipment, maybe robotics applications or others, and be able to take those concepts that they're learning with online education and be able to supplement those with real experiences where they're building something, troubleshooting equipment, and taking their own data. Now there is one issue with some of these labs that sometimes it's very difficult to give a lab to each student. And so as a result, what you have is students that in, in the group that maybe take a lead role in programming and others are more observers where they take more of a secondary or passive role in the project. And one of the things that we're really interested in is giving a laboratory experience to each student where each student can learn and create and deploy and be able to maybe collaborate with others on the team but they have their own lab experience and they're able to work with their own equipment. And so then they don't take this secondary role that sometimes happens with these larger, more expensive labs. What can we do about democratizing the laboratory experience to give one to each student and be able to help them become that primary role of programming, of creating, of of spending time with the lab. I'm gonna review one of the labs that we have for doing this, where we give a lab to each of the students that they can take home, they can work with, and uh, be able to run through exercises in introductory programming for Python, MATLAB, Java, or they can also work with um, programming, some more advanced topics in programming. There's also some topics in machine learning, data science, uh, process control, optimization, and others. So I'll just give an overview of how this lab has been used and how we give it to each of the students as they're going through the curriculum. The Temperature Control Lab is a plug and play Arduino device to teach programming, heat transfer, machine learning, data science, process dynamics, and control with real data. Two heaters and an LED are adjusted with MATLAB or Python. Two temperature sensors show how much heat is transferred or lost. Thermochromic pigment turns pink when hot and black when it cools off. The take-home lab gives real data so that theory and methods come alive with concrete and tangible examples. There is course material available to students and instructors thanks to efforts by many professors at universities around the world. The first course that I'll highlight is a module for learning Python for beginners. It starts at a very basic level to help beginners learn with a hands-on lab experience. The TC Lab is transformative because it gives a take-home device to all students whether they are self-studying or in a large university course. It is hands-on with real data to put theory into practice. They start with the introductory programming and then work up through more of the advanced topics. When we originally started, we gave them components and asked them to breadboard these themselves. Well, that was a bad experience for about half of the class who messed up one of the wires, fried some of their components, and then spent most of the time troubleshooting. So instead, we PCB printed some of the early prototypes in this lab um, and uh, gave them to maybe 10 of these for a class of 80 students. One of the things that we noticed is that, you know, students um, 
you know, would take this backseat role in the programming or the learning experiences. And here's the latest version right here. It's a little bit um, improved over the prior versions. It just sits on the backing of this Arduino Leonardo. Um, and that is used for the data acquisition and communicating to with the computer. And they can run their interactive exercises with this. We've also developed even smaller lab prototypes, uh, ones that um, are able to store compactly uh, for a large number of students. We've uh, put a lot of time and resources into making this education material available online. And it's available uh, through these links, freely available to take, customize, and modify. One of the ways that people have taken and modified this is to translate it into different languages. We've had the data science course that's been translated into Spanish, for example, and many other languages where they've made modules available for their students. I hope you're able to take some of this material and build upon it and create things that are applicable for your class and then share those back with the control education committee so that we can disseminate those further.